Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today we're talking about dual band routers and specifically how to tell if your router is dual band or not. The first thing we want to touch upon here is what exactly is a dual band router. Well, a dual band router is a router that produces two unique or two independent wireless networks. Those two wireless networks, I'm sure you've seen them before, one will be 2.4 gigahertz, one will be 5 gigahertz. All that is, that those labels there, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, those are just the two different frequencies of the wireless networks that the router is emitting. So essentially, the 2.4 gigahertz wireless network that's made for longer range connections, but the connection's not as fast. The network can't transmit as much bandwidth as, say, a 5 gigahertz network. The catch with a 5 gigahertz network, although it can pass or it can transfer, transfer more bandwidth or transfer more data at a given time, it has a shorter range. So you won't be able to connect to the network from as far away as you would with a 2.4 gigahertz network. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we have an understanding of what a dual band router is and the two different wireless networks that a dual band router emits. Why is this important? Well, it's important because of the number of connected devices we have in our home today. We have so many connected devices that some of them can only connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network, for example. And if you have a single band router where your router only emits one wireless network, that network will be a 2.4 gigahertz network and you won't have to make any decisions. But if you have a dual band router, you'll have two different networks that you have to connect to. And that's where it's important to understand, okay, I have a dual band router. I have to make sure that these devices are connected to a 2.4 gigahertz network, for example. Okay, so the next question we have to answer is, how do you determine if your router is a dual band router or a single band? and it only emits a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network. Well, there are a few different ways to figure this out. What you need and the easiest method from my perspective is to just look at the physical device itself. If you look at your router, you'll have some sort of informational sticker on it that gives you, it's basically the cheat code for all the important information regarding your router. So where exactly is that located? On my device, the sticker is located on the bottom. Let's take a closer look at this sticker and see exactly what it tells us. Okay, so here we are. Here's the sticker on my router itself. So how do we determine if the router is dual band or not? Well, there's actually three different places that we can look here on this sticker. The first is to take a look at the make and model information. The model, Archer A7, but if you look at the line below it, AC1750 wireless dual band gigabit router. So it tells you right there, in the description for the device itself, it tells you that it's a dual band router. That's the first place we can look. The next place that we can look is identifying or taking a look at what the names of the default wireless networks are for the router. So when you receive a router, it will tell you on the device or in the user manual what the default wireless network will be when you first set it up. And that's what allows you to connect to the wireless network and then make any changes to the router or the wireless network names, passwords, etc that you want. So if you look right here, here it says wireless password, it gives a pin, 
That's your default password for your wireless networks. But as you can see, it lists two default names for wireless networks here. TP-Link 813D and TP-Link 813D underscore 5G. So can you tell which one out of those two is the 5G wireless network? Or the 5 gigahertz wireless network, I should say? Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And that's usually what you'll see is most 5 gigahertz networks will have that 5G identifier in the network name. So just by looking at that information as well, you can tell that you have a dual band router. There are two wireless networks that are broadcast from this device. If that's not enough, you can take a look a little bit below that where it talks about the lights on the router and it gives you a little bit more information about which light is which. I'm talking about right here. The wireless logo on the front panel shows 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And it wouldn't give this description if it wasn't a dual band router that emitted two different wireless networks. So as you can see, the, ch the choices here are plentiful in terms of where to, uh, where to go exactly when looking at the sticker for the device. But this is the best option. It's a fast and easy way to find out if you have a dual band router or not. Another spoiler that I'll share with you when it comes to your router is that if you've purchased or rented your router and the router is, let's say, 10 years old or less, there's a very high likelihood that it's a dual band router. That's pretty much all you'll see in the market today just because of how the technology has developed over time. Previously, all routers were single band routers. They only provided 2.4 gigahertz wireless networks. Now, all you see is dual, dual band routers. So you'll have those two different networks to connect to. And that's because there are some devices in our home that require more bandwidth than others. And there are others that are maybe connected devices that don't require a lot of bandwidth and are maybe further away from our router. And they're just fine on the 2.4 gigahertz network. Another thing that I'd like to mention is that there's another possibility or there's another way to find out if your router is dual band or not. That's basically just an experimental method where you can take a connected device, say you take your phone out of your pocket, you stand next to your router, and then you see what available wireless networks are in the area. And that way, in looking at the available wireless networks, if you see two wireless networks with a very strong signal strength, and you're standing right next to your router, you have a good idea that your router is dual band. If you're interested in the step-by-step -step procedure for that method, I will link to a blog post down below that details that procedure exactly. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll see what I can do to help you out. But that's just, that's just about it. That's all we have to cover in today's episode. So with that, thank you for tuning into this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.